Hello friends, welcome to Computer Techies. Today we will discuss about Moore to Millet machine conversion. So basically, we have to follow some steps of conversions in which first one is we need output with respect to input. This is our requirement in the output of our this conversion. Next, step one. Draw transition table of given Moore machine using del such that q into summation gives q. Step 2. Draw mapping function table lambda such that q gives del. It means that every output is mapped to state. We have to draw that mapping function table. To know more about this mapping function and transition function, Please refer our previous video about tuples and their representation. Now, in this, use the conversion formula. It is lambda dash of q0 and input a gives lambda of del of q0, comma a. Means here, first of all, we have to find the trans transition. Refer to transition table find the transition of the q0 on input a and then we have to map we have to map the map function and think of the output embedded in that state now let's start with the example here we have to convert the given Moore machine into equivalent Miller machine the machine is given consisting of two states one is a and another one is b a has output 0 while B has output 1 and there are different transitions of inputs A and B are given. Here A is the starting state. So first of all let's follow the steps. First we have to draw the transition table. Here the transition table is Q and summation. On state A if input A is applied we will get to state B. On state A, if small b input is applied, we will get to state A. In this way, this is the transition table. After that, we have to draw the mapping function table. Here, the q and del. Each state has something output. A has output 0, while b has output 1. Now, this is our given Mori machine. This is the transition table and this is the mapping table. We need all these three to follow to convert this given Mori machine into Mille machine. We need to plot output over transitions. For that, use formula lambda dash of q0, a is equals to lambda of del of q0, a. For that, here we use q0 as a first state that is the a lambda dash of a comma small a is equals to lambda of del of a comma small a means on input a if we are on the state a then what will be the output state and what is the output embedded in that state so first of all if we refer the first transition table using del of capital A comma small a we will get on state a if input small a is applied we will get to state b therefore lambda of state b and refer to the another table that is the mapping table where the output of state b is 1 therefore the answer of this equation is 1 this means that if you are on state a and small input a is applied then output with respect to that input is 1 Similarly, we can find above the below means lambda of capital A comma small a is equal to 1, lambda of capital A comma small b is equal to 0, lambda of b comma a is 1, lambda of b comma b is equal to 0. This is what our input state input and the output will be given so we have state input 
and output and output state. First, we have we are on the state A. Input A is applied. We will get the output one, and we will get to state B. Similarly, if we are on the state B, input B is applied. The output will be zero. And the output state will be A. Using this, we can draw a mill A machine as follows. This is the required mill A machine which we have to convert from Moore machine. Means this mill A machine is equivalent to previous Moore machine. Here, look at this mill A machine. We have two states A and B where if input A is applied, we will get to state B with output 1. If input B is applied, we will get to state A with output 0. In this way, we have converted successfully the equivalent Millet machine to the given Moore machine. So guys, today we have discussed about the conversion of Moore machine to Millet machine. In, the, in this, if you are converting from Moore machine to Millet machine, then remember one thing that the number of states remains the same. It will not get increased nor decreased and just we have to use make use of the two tables that is the transition table and mapping function table with the help of these two you can easily convert Moore machine into Millet machine if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the button like thank you